Hi there, Commanders! Guardian E here with a showcase and overview of the 6th Anniversary Windborne Steel Wings Skin Batch. We've got a gorgeous medley of Wild West and swimsuit skins to take a closer look at, including three Live 2Ds and three Dynamic Emotion skins. We'll soak in all of the visual and auditory goodness one skin at a time, and also go through all of the animations and secret interactions we can find. So this is probably going to be an enormous video as usual. I will have chapters and timestamps down below in the description if you'd like to skip to a particular skin or part. And with that, let's, uh, let's spend some gems. Alright, you know what? We're going to start big. We're going to kick things off with Indiana and her new dynamic skin. Let's go ahead and pick up High Noon Arrest. There we go. Oh, look who's here. What am I doing here? Well, I figured through the roof was the fastest way in, so I punched a hole through the ceiling. <laughs> the bandits are all down for the count, so let me take it from here. <laughs> oh, man. Our event poster girl truly embodies that Wild West spirit in this dynamic skin. Immediately impactful is the atmospheric composition and framing. The camera perspective is of you know, maybe a subdued bandit lying on the floor. Recently trounced by Indiana, I imagine. Ill-gotten cash is scattered in front, no doubt collateral damage from the gunfight. Speaking of collateral damage, the banister on the level above has been knocked down. The ceiling has been blown wide open, allowing the sun's brightness to dramatically flare up the screen in contrast with the darkened saloon. The sun beaming down on Indiana herself has this surreal, celestial quality to it. Particle effects and dust glittering the air before lazily drifting out of view. And there you have Indiana herself, looking powerful, striking, intimidating, centered in the sun's pulsing spotlight, her ash-tipped silver hair billowing behind her in the stiff breeze. She's in full form, donning the almost wing-tipped cowboy hat, poncho, chaps, and cowboy boots. The stare from her smoky blue eyes from beneath the brim of the hat is unwavering. In addition to her fantastic, no-nonsense air of confidence, her feminine charm and appeal comes through in spades in this skin. The simple black bikini top and short shorts reveal Indiana's marvelously smooth caramel skin and toned physique. The generous, fulsome proportions of her bust on display, along with the trim and slightly muscled midriff. Her wide-set pose, legs spread, gives a welcome view of her sensational inner thighs. I do love how she deftly twirls her revolver to adjust her hat. This dynamic skin has so much going on despite just the subtle movements and does a great job of transporting you into another world. Setting up the scene, the aftermath of a gunfight, perhaps most importantly, at the mercy of Indiana. Which is right where I want to be. Oh, and here we have Unicorn. I'm feeling a little out of place in the Wild West and otherwise swimsuit themes that we have going on here. Uh, but she is in a new cheer squad outfit, sparkling and wholesome in a cheerleading uniform. She's leaping up into the air, pom-poms outstretched, lilac hair flowing behind her. I love the little details and the wings off the back of her skirt. Even on her shoes, too, there's that little detail there. She's wearing a cute flush expression across her face. And alongside her, of course, is her faithful Yuchan, who is in her own cheerleading costume beside her. Yuchan honestly really sells this one for me. I definitely did not expect to see a stuffed unicorn wearing a cheerleading outfit. The backdrop is a full stadium crowd behind her. You've got Illustrious making an appearance, and in the stands are definitely the discernible shapes and colors of various ship girls. I do wish we could get a, a version of this where it's all in focus and we could admire all of the fun cameos that are clearly embedded in the scene. But it's definitely a spirited and fun skin for Unicorn, perhaps most importantly, a fun skin for Yuchan. And here we have Belle in Saloon Mishaps. So unfortunately, Belle looks like she's about to take a tumble while trying to serve up all those frosty looking mugs of beer. She's wearing a very fetching tavern girl look with the white top pulled off of her bare shoulders and exposing a tantalizing view of her substantial bust line, which looks to be strapped in with a leather harness underneath, it seems. The side slit in the burgundy wrap skirt shows off some succulent hips and thigh. She's wearing a stylish loose fit belt with a heart pattern across the metal buckle, and she has a trio of keys dangling from her fastener. Her sweet disposition comes through cleanly with her look of consternation across her angelic facial features. The rowdy Manju patrons are no doubt difficult to satisfy, but she is doing her darndest. The earth tones in her outfit complement her flowing dark hair and long side ponytail, and it's easy to get smitten by the deep liquid pools of her eyes and soft flush of exertion across her cheeks. No animation on this one, and that is a shame, but she is still quite the curvaceous sight nonetheless. A real cutie in a really attractive and showy outfit. 
U-556, the little submarine bandit that is up to no good. Uh, she's in the midst of raiding a caravan while atop her steed, brandishing that weapon, her blue and pink twin braids flying above her. She does have the cowgirl look down pat, bandana ready to hide her face as well while she's committing those acts. She's accompanied by a posse of Manju bandits riding their own adorable stuffed horses, wielding a variety of weapons and dynamite. The poor victims themselves are cowering in fear within the caravan, and who is going to save them from these malicious criminals? Only time will tell as the next act in our movie unfolds, but cute little bandit, really impressive detailing and shading on the horse too, and a fun little interplay scene with the Manju. So Herring's The Town With No Shade. So for those of you that don't know, this was actually my prize item from the Lucky Bag in this event. So we already have the skin in tow from day one, just needed to get her from the Milestone Rewards. And here she is. Dark skin contrasts beautifully with her silver hair and white top. Pigtails are cute and spunky, really fitting for Herring's personality. She's looking over her shoulder at us while riding her horse to flash us that wink with her cat-like eyes. There is something incredibly alluring about the tapered arch of her back at her slender waist and how it opens up to that juicy, perfectly sculpted backside. The smooth roundness of her stern snugly stuffed into those little cut-off jean shorts is positively captivating. The fishnets dig into the inviting softness of her rear and thighs. There is this highly suggestive and provocative zipper running down the cleft of her posterior, begging for someone to grab and tug on it. Attractive legs enhanced by the fishnets and thigh strap, straddling her steed rearing back wildly. There is this trail of cash around her, presumably illegally earned, floats in her wake, acting as a lure for us to capture our prize. I like the little herring sign on the storefront to the side. Logo looks very similar to the cute little fishbone ornament she has in her hair. And while it is a static skin, I do lament that. It is undeniably charming and with a fantastic view, not afforded by her original outfit. Definitely pleased about getting this one. Next up, we're going to be picking up Fargo's dynamic skin, Dairy in the Dreary Sun. So here we go. Milk the cows? Okay, I'll give it my best shot. First-hand experience helps me better emulate emotions, after all. Although, isn't it way too hot outside for milking? It's never too hot for milking. So we got ourselves another beautiful cowgirl hard at work on the farm. Her lovely silver hair has been tied into these cute twin braids that snake behind her. Beautiful hazel green eyes as they peer at us from underneath the brim of the cowgirl hat. She's wearing this salacious outfit, cowboy hat and cow print top that's cut out at the underarms and chest, leaving her heaving buxom figure exposed in that strappy black bikini top that just sinks into her milky softness. Sexy belly exposed with the straps of her bottoms extending over her hips, above the tiny cut-off jean shorts. The cut-offs themselves, paired with the absolutely audacious pose of spreading her thighs, blesses us with a sublime view of her shapely legs dripping with milk. There's not much on Fargo that isn't sprayed with milk in this skin. Uh, she spilt her fair share of it herself, but it seems like there is a cheeky, and I dare say evil genius Manju off-screen that's dead set on covering her with the white thick fluid. It's splattered all across her flawless alabaster skin, rivulets trickling down and tracing her delectable curves. With each new bucket full of milk, Fargo jolts with a sudden bounce and licks the sweet milk from her lips. This one feels particularly racy given Fargo's usual robotic personality type. I feel like trying to calibrate to this particular scenario may be a little bit difficult for her, but then again, I feel like it would be for most ship girls. Fargo looks absolutely incredible here. Very, very risque skin, suggestive animations, and an absolute must-have. And next up, we've got Kursant's Wild West Dynamic Skin, A Saint's Mercy Can Do No Wrong. So we are going to be picking this one up as well for sure. Uh, Commander, please hurry and stop this creature. Otherwise, you might get hurt. Whoa. Phew. That was a close one. Huh. Praise be the Holy Iris. Ugh. <laughs> All right. I wish I had another copy of Croissant to, to put her in. So, Croissant seems to be having some difficulty out on the ranch, subduing this cow. I'd call it a bull riding skin, but the cow very clearly has udders down there. And speaking of udders, Kersant is full-figured and marvelously endowed while straddling this majestic beast, scintillating curves strapped into this skimpy white string bikini with full-on tassels to enhance the motion. Cow print leggings, little decorative horns, cowbell, mark her as a cowgirl in the truest sense of the words, 
as the cow bucks and reels, Croissant struggles to maintain balance, as the top struggles to contain the bounce of her pillowy charms with each kick. The bright sunlight dancing off of her bare skin, highlighting her phenomenal proportions with smooth shading. Her cute face with adorable expression, flush with embarrassment and concern, is framed by two blonde twin tails flopping wildly with each of the cow's movements. Her ruby eyes have this somewhat distressed look as the whip in her hand appears to be not doing a whole heck of a lot to deter the animal she's riding. Now I will say that the bucking animation could have been a little bit smoother, especially with the tassels. It does feel like there could have been some additional frames in there to really smooth it out. But that being said, she still looks amazing, and it's a wonderful opportunity to see the beautiful croissant in both a swimsuit and as a cowgirl, which is a marvelous mesh of themes for me personally. So if it wasn't already abundantly obvious, we are going to be picking up all of the Live 2Ds of this patch, and we're going to start things off with the much-awaited Live 2D for FDG. So Friedrich de Groza, One Summer Night's Intimacy. Confirm. And there we go. Welcome, my child. What do you desire tonight? That which ripples in my cup? This sweet red fruit? Or to sate the desires sleeping deep, deep in your heart? Maybe a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. Let's take a closer look at her. Check out these animations. All right, here we go. I, I just love how that cloth just drapes over her figure. All right, log in. Hee <laughs> hee, will you come and visit me every night until the end of summer, my dear child? Get a nice little view of the night pool setting, the manju pouring a glass for our lovely lady of the night. And there she is. Fantastic. Main screen one. Do you want cherries? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm so glad you're honest, my child. As a reward, I'll feed you just like this. Is she going to do it? Is she going to do it? I love the little tassels on her horn, too. They just kind of shift and move. Oh, there she goes. Magnificent. Magnificent. I thought we were going to zoom in a little bit harder there. Maybe in some of the interactions we'll get a little bit more up close and personal. Main screen two. Don't be afraid of spoiling my mood or angering me. Just tell me what you desire. It's my duty to satisfy that. Oh, she just extends that hand towards us. I love how she very selectively shifts her arms just to cover herself up just enough. All right. Main screen three. Sometimes it's good to give our rational minds a break. My only desire is to pamper you in my arms on this beautiful summer night, my child. All right. So yeah, you know, sometimes sometimes you got to just put the rational thought, let the animal take over. Oh, she's giving a little, little ear cleaning to the manju. Normal touch. Do you wish to feel my warmth? But of course, my dear child. Ooh, how close are we going to get? Nice little zoom in, a pan down her a little bit. Special touch? Hee <laughs> hee, it's my job to sate your intellectual thirst. Yes, intellectual thirst. Yes, into intellectual. Intellectual. Uh, in intellect intellectual? Oh man, what a view. Uh, head pat? You really like this hairstyle, don't you, my child? It is very fetching on her, the long ponytail. Mission reminder, my child, no matter what it is that you desire, I can help you obtain it. Pulls out the cherries again. Mission complete. Now then, what kind of reward would you like? Just shifts the goblet a little bit in her hands. Male reminder, shall I sing the contents of this message for you? The Manju's got her letter over there on the side. Uh, commission complete. We must properly praise the girls who have returned from their commissions. Of course, of course, you have to give those due. You put in their work. And return to port. You look tired. Come, come, lie down with me and rest. Oh, that, just that camera pan all the way up her legs. And then spanning up her torso a little bit. Just fantastic. So as far as interactions go, Friedrich has a nice little collection here. We'll go through them one by one. Uh, so first and foremost, you can't actually pull and tug on the thigh strap that she has here. So if you tap and drag, you can actually pull it off of her. You can see the little skin dentation of where the thigh strap was. And as you release, it snaps right back into place and creates a delightful little jiggle in her thigh. So one of the big ones is that she can actually swap her outfit. So right now she is, well, she's not wearing anything. She's actually just wearing a transparent cloth draped over her. But if you tap the magazine in front of her, she'll actually switch 
with the pool wave that comes up into this ravishing swimsuit. So you have two options, well actually more than that, and we'll get into that in a, just a second, but you have at least these two options uh, to swap into if you want to change her look up just a bit. Now from here at any point if you want to swap back to the cloth look, uh, you just have to tap the cloth that's hanging over the, the top of the couch there, the wave will come back up, and then she swaps back into this outfit. So again, you can tap the magazine and the cloth respectively to swap back and forth between these two looks. While she is in the swimsuit, you can pull on the thigh strap just like you could in the other look, does the same thing. Now if you uh, if you tap her backside, you'll actually give her a playful little spank. So there you go, <laughs> she gets a little blush across her cheeks, uh, both, both cheeks really. And uh, if you keep spanking her uh, during the third spank, it'll actually create another transition where she takes off her bikini bottoms, they're actually hanging by her feet right now, and she really just has this little towel draped over her hip. So that's uh, that's a really spicy look for her, you can keep her in this too. Uh, now from here you can actually tap and drag the towel to actually shift it across her thigh to give uh, whatever your desired level of exposure is, <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, so you can customize that. Uh, while you're here you can actually tap the cherries uh, on the table over here on the left, and this will actually cause her to swap her arm position so that she kind of just crosses her uh, her wrists in front of her. So it's just a different pose here. And then if you tap the cherries, she'll just swap back to the default pose. And then of course, during any of these different positions that she's in, you can obviously initiate any of the different animations like the special touch here. It does all the same zoom levels and the, the cherry feeding and everything else. So. And then from here, if you want to swap back to the draped cloth, you can click on the cloth again in the back there, and it will go ahead and swap back to this pose and outfit. Now, interestingly, if you have her in the arm crossed pose here, for some reason, when you tap the uh, the cloth in the back, it does transition back, but it's actually a different transition animation where you zoom in and you get the highlights rather than the like the pool wave that comes in and sweeps everything. So, so yeah, I think that's basically it as far as the interactions go. It's a nice little selection of different options and, and uh, customization that you can pick from different poses. Uh, different outfit arrangements and things like that and then of course all of our animations activate uh, the same way and you can enjoy the outfits in a variety of different animations so it is uh, it's quite nice. Friedrich de Groza finally has a live 2D in the game and a glamorous swimsuit at that. Though I will say that the term swimsuit might be a little bit generous given that her default mode with the skin is her swimsuit boldly stripped off and tossed to the side. Very very scandalous. And people have been asking for years, and Manju and Yostar finally delivered. The night pool setting always has this electrifying appeal that I love. So many rich, vibrant colors with the underlit pool, gorgeous array of purples, pinks, and violets that span the starry sky. Of course, the setting is no match for Friedrich's beauty herself. Silky raven hair, dark sheer cloth drapes gingerly over the otherwise bare, immaculate curves of her hourglass figure as she lays across this floating mattress. The slope of her slender waist, the rise of her luxurious hips. She's enjoying a drink while perusing a fashion magazine featuring herself on the pages. Those golden eyes are both challenging and nurturing as they implore us to come just a little bit closer. Her hand movements have this gentle precision of a composer. They have a musical melody all of their own. She transitions between various states of undress, peeling off the stylish black swimwear, opting to cover herself loosely with a black tapestry, in some cases just a towel down below, the decadent, supple softness of her voluptuous chest freely hanging and pressing into the mattress, modesty only maintained by some strategic arm placement, beautiful bare legs with a stylish hip strap, stunning view of her bare hips and peak of pelvis as you shift the towel to and fro, Without the swimsuit, she is effectively nude aside from this thin, transparent cloth and towel. You can zoom in super close to confirm, and industrious commanders out there have confirmed that the fabric is a separate layer entirely within the Live 2D, meaning that she is fully rendered under there. This affords us some fun variety and options while drinking in every alluring dip and valley of her flawless body line. Her hallmark pampering nature is in full force as she offers an embrace and to feed us cherries directly from her lips. And I love the cushion in the back marked with yes, 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 promising an even more intimate encounter before the night is over. This skin really captures her bewitching and graceful nature and successfully articulates Friedrich's seductive mystique. An absolute winner in my book, well, well worth the gems.
And next up, we have the next live 2D of the batch. It is going to be Ponlu V in Fresh and Fortunate. New swimsuit skin for her, so let's confirm. There we go. Hmm. Ah, that hits the spot. I just hope my prayers are answered and it suits the commander's tastes. Hee <laughs> hee, maybe I'll, if I personally fed Eep? C commander did you just hear that? Aw, so cute. Well, thankfully we have an extra copy to use for the skin. Alright, let's check out some of these animations. Log in. Welcome back, Commander. My prayers have made this parfait even more delicious. Please eat up. Okay, open up and I'll feed you. Oh, we get a little ca a video cam view as she pulls out the strawberry. Aw, and nice little zoom in and out. Really just lets us uh, drink in all of those curves. Main screen one, Commander, uh, no, I shouldn't be greedy, but but I want to be with you forever, blush, aww. Uh, I like that she crosses her legs here, has a, just a slight flush across her cheeks. Runs her arm under her bust. Main screen two, you want to talk about wishes again? Hee <laughs> hee, tell me one of yours. I'll do my best to help you achieve it. Aww, look at how sparkly her eyes are. She's so excited and determined. That's very precious. Main screen 3. The shape of the Melt Parfait can divine today's fortune. Um, today, let's see. Oh, it's a very lucky day for a date. <laughs> what a coincidence. Oh, she actually uh, runs her finger through the cream and then, ooh, licks it off. Uh, normal touch. Does this mean- oh, coming in close. Does this mean you like my new outfit? Getting kind of an unadulterated view of uh, and close-up of her swimsuit. Very nice. Special touch. Uh, um, I I'm going to spill the- <laughs> Oh, she dropped the strawberry. The cream splatters across her skin. Oh, yeah, that is, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely a special view. Uh, head pat. Oh, she just kind of like gets jostled a bit. <laughs> Plenty of wobble to be had as she's kind of settling in there. Mission reminder. Uh, it's almost that lucky time of day. Oh, the parfait's floating. Uh, Commander, I think you'll see great success if you do your missions now. She stretches her legs out in front of her. I do like that her legs have multiple poses, so she can kind of swap between them uh, in the midst of the, di of the different quotes and animations. Uh, mission complete. Did you see great success in your missions? So the lucky time really did help. Thank goodness. Oh, she gives a little victory sign. And then flashes that smile. Mail reminder. New mail. Oh, it just comes swinging in. Uh, I hope it's good news. Oh, she slides it between her cleavage. And then it just kind of sinks in and disappears. Commission complete. Has the commission team returned? Um, to, Here's today's lucky item. When you go greet them, please bring one of these back. Oh, it's like a playing card. An ace? Oh, I like how bright and shiny her eyes are. She's so cheerful. Return to port. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, welcome back, Commander. You're wondering why I haven't eaten any. I just thought it'd be better if I waited for you to get back so we could eat it together. Blush. Oh, she's such a sweetheart. Oh, she's like, she's touching the tips of her fingers together. So as far as special interactions or secret interactions for Ponluvi's Live 2D, there's only a handful that I've been able to find so far after really testing over and over again and clicking everywhere I can. You can tap and drag her spoon her hand with the spoon to have her actually feed you one of the strawberries from her parfait. It's very cute. She gives us an adorable expression with a blush across her face. And if you tap her thigh strap, it'll actually have her swap positions with her legs. So she'll actually stretch her legs out on the mattress, actually zooms out a little bit to get a full view of her in this uh, in this pose. And while she's in this pose, you can still do the whole uh, strawberry feeding thing. But Otherwise, that's it. Again, you can swap back and forth between the uh, the leg poses, but beyond that, I don't think there's any other kind of secret hidden interactions with Ponlovi's Live 2D. So Ponlovi getting a Live 2D isn't what I expected. It does seem like she's gone through a little bit of a transformation, at least from her fitness skin days. Seems like she's swelled up in certain areas, possibly due to indulging in those sweets. Not to say that she hasn't always had particularly extravagant proportions. She looks magnificent and full-figured. Her swimsuit is a pristine white with a navy blue ribbon fastened around her neck. Alluring halter strop top design to the swimsuit clings and sinks into the luscious springiness of her voluptuous curves. Full expanse of buttery, smooth skin on display as it strains against the fabric. A completely translucent skirt, doing little to obscure the view of her enchanting figure. 
It does have a cute little pattern of blue crosses along the frill. She's wearing an adorable officer's hat to top off the look, gloriously juicy thighs stretched out in front of her, beautiful legs crossed and uncrossed as she shifts restlessly in her seat. She's enjoying this decadent dessert while resting atop this floating pool mattress. Long flaxen twin tails stretch out and frame either side of her. Her warm and cheerful smile is disarming and lovely. Watching her sparkling blue eyes shyly darting back and forth is an absolute joy. Aside from the parfait, Panluvi herself is a sweet and creamy delight, bursting with eye candy, which is the perfect complement to her tasty treat. Now, I will say it's a little light on the interactions, especially when compared to the rest of the Live 2D batch, but what is there is perfectly fitting in emphasizing Panluvi's gentle soul and sweet demeanor. Panluvi looks positively phenomenal, and I'm not going to say no to that smile. And last but certainly not least, we have Pittsburgh in the Bartender's Gambit. So we'll go ahead and grab this brand new Live 2D for a new addition to the fleet. Welcome to the saloon, Commander. Be it drinking juice or playing games of chance, I'm happy to join you. And I offer more special services, too. <laughs> Alright, Pittsburgh, a full-service gal, apparently. Okay. Alright, let's check out some of these animations. Log in. Would you like some juice, Commander? A smoked malt? Oh, God, those legs. Smoked malt? Don't worry, there's plenty of ways to quench your thirst. I, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Oh, just kind of propping him up with her arm? Giving him a little, a little jostle? Main screen one. Isn't this dress just lovely? See, if I grab here and pull, he he, it comes right off. Oh, dear God. Oh, she's just showing off the little string tie at the side tie. Main screen two. Commander. Oh, should I call you Legendary Bounty Hunter? Really? That gets you more in the mood, doesn't it? <laughs> the Pittsburgh's not one to shy away from role play. That is good to know. And she is uh, twirling that revolver, kind of shifting her leg a little bit in that pose. Main screen three. How's about a wager? Whoever wins gets to do whatever they want to the loser. <laughs> That's a dangerous game, Pittsburgh. For example, bang. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, did you see that? I was just <laughs> placing the barrel between her thighs and then uh, a, little, a little jump. A little jump with the bang. Main screen four. Uh, here's the juice you ordered. Oh, I spilled a little on me. Still want a taste of it? Uh, now more th Oh my god, she really does! Just drip it on herself, and it just pools between her cleavage on her thighs. Still want a taste of it, more so than ever. Yes, please. Uh, normal touch? You like seeing me in this dress, don't you? Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, yeah, that's an understatement. That's an understatement if there ever was one. Special touch? Let's gamble on it. If you win, I'll let you take the next step. Again, it does seem like she is uh, into the games of chance. She said that more than once or twice. Uh, head pat. Do you like it more when my hair's a little disheveled? Uh, it, it is. It's. It is very alluring. She got the heart pupils going too. All right. Mission reminder. Go to your lame missions, okay? I'll show you something fun later. Oh my god! Where are you putting that gun, girl? She's just, she's just uh, placing the tip of the uh, the barrel right down her dress. My goodness, Pittsburgh. Mission complete. I'm not really interested in mission rewards. What I am interested in is the reward you'll give me, though. <laughs> oh, you've got plenty coming to you, Pittsburgh. My goodness. All right. Um, mail reminder. Commander, mail for you. Ah, no, nothing. I was oh god, she pulls it out of her cleavage. I mean, where else, right? I was just wondering if I should write something on my skin for you instead of on paper. I mean, that's the easiest way to get attention, that's for sure. Not gonna lie. Pittsburgh's got the right idea. Commission complete? Hmm? The commission team is back. Should we cut things short for now, then? Hee <laughs> hee. Just maneuvering the, uh, the gun in front of her a little bit. All right, return to port. Commander, you're finally back. I'm tired of roulette. Let's do something more fun. What? Everyone can see us. Let them watch all this zoom in? Dear God. <laughs> oh, she pulls us close. Oh, wow. And that smile. I mean, the text box is blocking. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so that's uh, that's us looking to the side because... um. 
because people can see us getting a little affectionate here. But she is, uh, she's not shy about showing off. <laughs> wow, Pittsburgh, she is, uh, she's a daring one. She's a daring one. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to be giving her uh, her an oath ring in her future, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I've got a ring on all of the Baltimore sisters. Alright, so Pittsburgh secret interactions for her live 2D. Uh, most, if not all of them, basically stem from the knife that's embedded in the wanted poster, featuring the manju with the shades on the left side here. So if you click on that knife... Um, okay, she... <laughs> I mean, I can't interrupt her, but I wouldn't even if I even if I could. <laughs> I want to let her do her thing. Uh, but if you click on that knife, what will happen is that uh, you'll pull out the knife and it'll give you two choices. So I'll go ahead and click the knife now. So two posters show up. The one on the left uh, has a different uh, transition in zoom in to Pittsburgh. And the one on the right is a little uh, shooting minigame. So we'll start with the one on the right. We'll start with the minigame. If you tap on that one... You'll transition into the shooting minigame. You have the HUD that actually allows you to aim and fire. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out these targets real quick. You have two different scenes, each with three targets apiece. So you do want to just take out these three. Then you want to take out here. There we go. And the far one in the back. All right. And now this actually switches modes for Pittsburgh. So now you'll notice that the wanted poster is gone, the knife's not there anymore, and now, whenever you tap Pittsburgh, she actually goes into a, a special animation. So we'll go ahead and tap the gun here. So you can see she actually just shifts the barrel down between her legs and does the little, the little bang animation again. Uh, if you tap her leg, uh, she'll actually pull up on the hem of her skirt, again revealing that little side tie of her undergarments. And then if you uh, tap her chest, she'll actually go ahead and dip the barrel of the gun down in that valley. So yeah, so yeah, I believe that those are all of the little special animations that you can invoke while you're in this mode. They're all just kind of variations of uh, her voice line animations. And then if you want to switch out of this mode back to the uh, regular mode, you would click on the, the manju in the back with the shades and the cowboy hat. That'll close the saloon doors, reopen them, and then here she is with her legs crossed in the normal mode. So now if we choose the left option with the wanted poster with the manju, it'll actually swap to a nice and up close uh, perspective with Pittsburgh here. She's looking deeply into our eyes. It's very intimate. And so from here, if you actually uh, give her a head pat, she actually shakes her head. Uh, if you tap her hand that she has up close to her face, she'll actually shift it to the side so that it looks like you're kind of holding hands or she has her arms around you a little bit. So while you're in this mode, now if you give her a little head pat, she gets the heart pupils going and then she gives us a nice little kiss. So she plants one on us right there. Very, very nice. She gets a like, cute little blush on her cheeks too. It's very sweet. And while you're in this mode, if you tap closer to her chest, She'll actually uh, press them against you. A nice cushioned hug. Uh, I do really appreciate that they're taking advantage of the whole uh, glass press effect that they have uh, kind of mastered at this point. They're making very, very good use of it. Uh, and that's uh, more or less effectively it. I mean, while you're in this pose, you do have the uh, ability to actually zoom in and out with the HUD controls and everything. So you do can like actually admire her full view while in that mode too. Whew, Pittsburgh looks just jaw-droppingly beautiful in her bartender saloon ensemble, really leans into her innate, sultry qualities. Charming loose fit of the dress opens up at the slit while just gently grazing those sumptuous, shapely legs. Good lord, what an incredible set of crossed legs. You got cowboy boots and a holster, perfect accent to the view, straps snaking around and squeezing the supple flesh of her thigh. She tugs at the skirt to reveal dainty string undergarments underneath, teasingly. Sunlight from the saloon window shines against her alluring body line, creating beautiful shading to highlight the stunning contours and rich, smooth silkiness of her thighs and cleavage. She's perched atop the bar table, collection of ale and spirits sitting beside her. Tousled mauve hair and a side ponytail rests on her smooth, bare shoulders. Deep ruby red eyes peer out from beneath her bangs and gleam with an inviting and playful look. That flirtatious gaze is downright debilitating. Bountiful swell of her exquisite bust nearly spilling out of the low-cut top, an absolutely mouth-watering view. She deftly and uh, cavalierly wields her revolver, tossing gun safety right out the window, slides the barrel of that thing in all kinds of suggestive places through a variety of provocative and enticing animations. 
I love that they integrated the shooting minigame and how they allow you to get up close and touchy with Pittsburgh through the different transitions. Her affectionate and teasing personality comes through in spades and sends hearts pounding. An absolutely killer design, gorgeously animated, and with the extras we come to expect from a premium Live 2D Azure Lane skin. This one was an easy, easy pickup. Alright, so that that's going to do it, I think. That was a doozy. I think this is probably going to be a really, really long video. I mean, the Live 2D is obviously going through all of the different intricacies and all the animations and everything. And a pretty big batch as well. Uh, but a good one. Uh, definitely a good one. I definitely really liked this, uh, the theming and the designs and everything. I have been way behind on things, and I do apologize for that. I was planning on getting this out just a couple of days, basically, after the, the first video, and that just... <sighs> it just didn't happen, and I am, I'm really sorry about that. I hate being late on these things, although I, I guess it gives us a chance. We, sometimes they put out stealth updates to the Live 2D without telling anybody uh, a couple of days after, and sometimes sometimes we catch those if, if, we're, if we're late. But anyway, uh, the next thing up for Azure Lane is going to be the wrap-up video for the Windborn Steel Wings event. That should go live closer to the middle of next week, so if you do want to see that and get notified when that goes live, do make sure to subscribe. But otherwise, let me know down below which skin was your favorite of the batch, which ones you ended up picking out from this set. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting down below, subscribing to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, let's protect those waters.